Good morning, all, and you're all very welcome to our online launch of Sligo County Council's first ever online conference on reimagining our town, or RIOT for short, which is scheduled for the 23rd and 24th of March 2021 and is organised as part of the Council's Culture and Creativity Strategy. So Sligo's County Council, Sligo County Council's culture team has been very busy over the last year to 18 months in planning a cultural and creative programme of activities as part of our involvement in the Creative Ireland programme. So from the varied programme of activities that have been planned, the hosting of an international online conference in Sligo is a very significant one. So the running order for today's online launch include the Cahirlach, Councillor Darren Mulvey, who will officially announce details of the conference and launch launch the conference schedule. This will be followed by an address by Mr. Tom Kilfeather, Acting Chief Executive Officer of Sligo County Council. And finally, in closing, there will be a promotional conference video on Riot Sligo, which will include program content, booking details and so forth. So to give you a little bit of background on the Creative Ireland programme and the conference, uh, the Creative Ireland programme is a five-year all-of-government initiative from 2017 to 2022 and has as its objective to place creativity at the centre of public policy and public life. It is guided by a vision that every person living in Ireland will have the opportunity to fully realise their full creative potential. So it's about enabling the creative potential of every child and every individual enabling creativity in our communities, as well as investing in our creative and cultural infrastructure. So the core proposition of Creative Ireland is that by participating in cultural activity, this drives personal and collective creativity, as well as having significant implications and benefits for individual and societal well-being and achievement. So Sligo County Council's culture team we're very pleased to have curated and now present Reimagining Our Town, Riot Sligo 2021, an international online conference that will look at ways of reimagining our town and positioning and repurposing it and its creative and cultural assets for the future for all of those who live here, work here and who will happen to visit here. It will involve exploring our cultural heritage, our architectural initiatives, to reimagine the place that we live in. Four internationally curated conversations will explore the role of culture and creativity in the development and regeneration of smaller urban centres. And people are invited from all over the world to be part and to participate in this conversation. So the theme of the conference has local, national and of course international relevance and will focus on towns and to urban centres that are of similar size to Sligo. The conference will also host local, national and international speakers who will share their experiences, their creative input, their business acumen and community experiences with us all. Participants can log on from all over the world and we look forward to the presentations, to the challenging discussion and the questions that will be raised as part of the two-day uh, discussion, debate and recommendations that will ensue. So without further ado, I will hand over to the Cahirlach of Sligo County Council, Councillor Darren Mulvey, to uh, invite him to officially launch our first ever online conference for Sligo, Reimagining Our Town, uh, which is due to take place in Sligo on the 23rd and 24th of March 2021. Councillor Darren Mulvey. Good morning, everybody. As Cahirlach of Sligo County Council, I look forward immensely to Riot Sligo 2020 International Online Conference. We are living in a time of change, and Riot Sligo, reimagining our town, is an opportunity for revisioning and repurposing our towns and small cities. The conference will be an exploration of cultural, heritage and architectural initiatives 
to reimagine the place that we live. Through four internationally created conversations, we will explore the role of culture in the development and regeneration of towns and small cities. We invite you to be part of this conversation. Supported by Creative Ireland, we will have speakers and delegates from the creative industries, enterprise and industry sectors. There will be urban planners, policy makers, entrepreneurs, tourism bodies and speakers from majority and minority communities. Four conversations over two days, looking at the role of culture in making our towns a better and more attractive place to live. The first conversation will set the challenge, discussing a planning model that includes creativity, culture, society, and the economy. Our moderator, Owen McDermott, will be asking difficult questions about how we can develop the resource of culture to the benefit of people, communities, and economy. Our Joe Clamour from the Netherlands will without doubt get us all thinking about compatibility, economics, and culture. But what are we talking about when we talk about culture? Is the arts different from culture? Where do creative industries fit in? We know they are worth 509 billion per year across the EU. Used Highness will talk about how governments, cities, cultural institutions and cultural entrepreneurs can realize those values. We all know that our towns and small cities are made by the people and communities who live in them. To this end, we will discuss how to develop the resource of culture to the benefit of people, communities and economies. And yes, it is possible. Helen Marriage and Claude Assisk will tell us of their success and challenges in Ireland and in the UK. They will show us how planning with economy and the community for cultural innovation completely transforms the idea of culture being a drain on the economy. To being an entrepreneur, social and economic resource. In other words, how do we develop the resource of culture to the benefit of people, communities and economy? We are now well into the second decade of the 21st century. The first year of this decade has seen universal change due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Like the rest of the world, Sligo embarks on 2021 with a level of optimism. Riot Sligo lends itself to optimism. It is an opportunity to rethink how we want our town to be. This conference will challenge all of us to go beyond conversations. Yes, we will hear from world experts, but we will also have local voices too as part of these conversations, making sure we stay grounded and practical as well as visionary. I look forward to the outcomes of this conference a series of recommendations towards a new, inclusive and practical approach to reimagining Sligo and other small towns through collaboration between their creative, cultural society and economic resources. I want to thank the cultural team for this opportunity to address you today and wish you the very best of luck with the conference. Thank you, Cahirlach. I will, now, uh, I will now ask our Acting Chief Executive, Mr. Tom Kilfeather, um, to address you. 
Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, as Acting uh, Chief Executive of Sligo County Council, I'm aware of all that Sligo has to offer. Equally, I'm aware of the challenges, the cultural, the economic, and the social challenges that face the town of Sligo in 2021. Riot Sligo will provide an opportunity to look at creative, innovative, and practical ways to address many of these challenges through the lens of culture. Collaboration will be vital for success between existing partners and through the creation of new, more unusual partnerships. Our culture team, chaired by my colleague Dorothy Clark, has, since its formation, overseen a wide range of creative innovations across many sectors in Sligo. The key to success has been a collaborative approach. The spark for Riot, Sligo, was lit as a result of the work completed and ongoing of the Sligo Collaborative Town Centre Health Check and other initiatives, which seek to reinvigorate our town centres at a local and national level. The team of reimagining has local, national and international relevance and will focus on towns of a similar size to Sligo. The discussions in Riot Sligo 21 encompass all of the disciplines, the sectors, and the priorities expressed in the Sligo Creative Ireland Plan in line with Creative Ireland and the National Cultural Policy Framework to 2025. I look forward to the probing conversations and working challenges with a cross-section of experts and innovators from places and projects that have been transformed through groundbreaking regenerational collaborations. We will have heated debates and conversations only to be expected when we put creatives, economists, bankers and planners on the same panel. The audience will be part of these collaborative discussions between culture and creative business and community sectors. As each speaker relates their experiences and learning, a key feature of these exchanges will be interactive comments and questions from the virtual audience. Thank you all and enjoy the Riot Sligo 2021 conference. Thank you, Tom, for your address. So in conclusion, on behalf of Sligo County Council and on behalf of Sligo's culture team, I'd like to thank you all for your time here today. A sincere thank you to our two speakers, the Cahirlach, Councillor Dara Mulvey, and also our Acting Chief Executive, Mr. Tom Kilfeather. We look forward to welcoming you to our conference in March. You can book now on our website, www riotsligo.ie and click on the register now button to book your place at the conference. Don't forget too to follow us on social media and think at this stage about all of the questions you would like to pose to our panelists on the 23rd and the 24th of March 2021. Gormila Mahakov Galeer.